Hey, good Thursday morning to you. John Bergsman here. Got a couple of great reports, walleye reports. One casting, one trolling. Had a great time. First one's going to be up in Marquette, Michigan with Mike Cozierra and Marquette Adventures. The other one, Randy Cornell and Karma Sport Fishing down in Cadillac, Michigan. Stay tuned. Two awesome reports here this morning on Fisherman's Digest. So, you know, anytime we go up to the UP, it's got to be pretty much a sure thing with the price of gas anymore because, I mean, you drive 500 miles one way and 500 miles back, as you all know, hauling a boat. That's no small little price tag. Uh, throw a room into that and uh, some food you got you blown six seven hundred bucks real quick well let me tell you what there's an awesome place to go where it makes spending that kind of money worthwhile it's marquette county michigan and it's the walleye fishing with mike Cosiera and marquette adventures guide service so we called up mike and said hey what do you got for us got anything going on he goes oh yeah john he says come on up here i've got a casting presentation that's just been bonkers for the last four weeks so we made the trek up there we got our casting rods out. Sure enough, Strike King White Ice 3.25 rage, swim, rage swimmers on little eighth ounce squadron jig heads and the, and the baby squadrons. They were fantastic. We started casting first thing in the morning and I mean, we were banging walleyes at the very first spot. I think we boated 30 legal walleyes that day between the three of us and just had an awesome time. Also put a 43 and a half inch fish in the boat. That's gonna be on an upcoming show here in the next few weeks, so stay tuned for that Marquette show. But really the key to this is understanding the cadence and the fact that walleyes midsummer are typically very aggressive because of water temperature, so you don't have to fish them with just live bait. In fact, we had no live bait in the boat whatsoever and played catch and release all day long. And we did awesome. And the key was is casting those rage swimmers out, letting them sink all the way to the bottom. And very early on, I figured out it was a pop, reel down, pop, reel down, pop. And I mean, boy, it was un almost like shiver minnowing, except for just a pop, not a rip, uh, just a little tip pop. And I'll tell you what, these walleyes were inhaling these jigs. There was no question about it. We lost very few fish. Most of them had the jig head past their lips. The whole body, everything in their mouth, wanting to eat it. And that's kind of a cool experience if you're a, a controller like I am. So, looking for an awesome time. The bass fishing right now up there is going great. Uh, you know, Shag Lake has been going really, really good. The Silver Lake Storage Basin has been, uh, Dead River Storage Basin, I'm sorry, has been really, really good. Uh, and all kinds of different lakes throughout Marquette County. It's almost hard to go to a lake up there and not find really good bass fishing or bluegill fishing or walleye fishing or northern pike fishing. Two of those four are almost biting on every single lake. We have a great time up there. Shoreline trolling up on Lake Superior has been awesome, as has on the calm days, the bite out at Standard Rock. So check out Mike Cosiera, Marquette Adventures Guide Service, and Marquette County. Whether you go with Mike or whether you just haul your boat up there and spend a few days with the family, it's an awesome place to go. Make loading and unloading your boat easy with the Dorado Catch and Release Automatic Boat Latch. Load with ease, simply drive on the trailer and the Dorado will automatically latch to your bow eye. A hard plastic liner protects your boat. For launching, back your boat in, pull the release lever and away you go. For roller or bunk trailers, the Dorado is quick and easy to install and works with most V-Hull boats. Spend less time at the landing and more time fishing. The Dorado Catch and Release Automatic Boat Latch, online at doradoproducts.com. Hey, good morning, everybody. Another great report coming to you, Cadillac, Michigan. And, uh, you know, I personally went there this past week, uh, actually just a couple of days ago, joined Randy Cornell from Karma Sport Fishing. And what we really wanted to do was kind of back up, kind of verify last year's shows. We had a lot of people calling and telling us, gee, John, you caught a double limit of walleye on Lake Mitchell and Cadillac in the summertime? How is that even possible? Well, guess what? You're going to see it in another four or five weeks because we went out there and caught another double limit of 10 walleyes. So we're going to give you a few tips here today on how to cash in on that. Uh, first thing you have to understand is you're fishing outside the weeds in the summertime. 
you're you're bumping against the weeds but you're not fishing right in them you're not ripping that board back until later in the season right now the fish are still kind of in that deeper water right on those edges that are just touching the weeds so if i was giving you a depth i'd say 14 to 18 feet of water was the depth that we fish most of the time we were fishing with one ounce bottom bouncers crawler harnesses we were using lots of different things we were using a leech rig primarily from uh, fish bones but we also have uh, have been having great success on a slow death rig called double trouble by the walleye nation creation guys now tomorrow as soon as i'm done filming this i'm going to be at saginaw bay filming a show with the walleye nation creation double trouble slow death rig and that's going to be a revelation to a lot of you guys because this is an awesome rig that catches tons of fish and it's super simple to run so basic principle 14 to 18 feet of water 1.2 to 1.4 feet over ground one ounce bouncers about two to one to get them down when you're going in that speed range, you're gonna be about two feet out to get one foot down. So if you're in 15 feet of water, you're gonna let that out 30 feet. You're gonna hook it on your offshore planer board, send it out real slowly. Don't just send it flying out there because that bouncer will sink to the bottom. And there's a chance that a bluegill or a perch will get a hold and mangle your bait before you even start fishing. So I like to get that board on and get it in the water and then back my drag off just a little bit and let it creep out really slowly. So I'm running two off the butt of the boat, two boards very close, I'm talking 10 or 15 feet off the corner, and another set of boards about 25 to 30 feet off the corner. So a real tight spread on a real tight drop zone, creeping those baits out, making sure you're still baited up, and then watching closely for little board pullbacks, which could signal a perch or a bluegill or a crappie or something other than a walleye that's going to steal your bait without you knowing it. So get out there to Lake Cadillac, try these presentations, see if it doesn't work for you. Thinking about buying a new boat or UTV for next summer? Be ready now and order your 2022 model early and beat the crowd. Ordering right now will save you money and the hassle when 10 other people want the boat you want that's in stock. It's never been easier to order early and get the pontoon or UTV that you want at Lakeside Motorsports Macasta and Nelson Speed Shop in Greenville. With over 36 name brand manufacturers to choose from, top-notch service department, and a state-of-the-art service facility, why go anywhere else? Be ready. Order your 2022 now. Hey guys, thanks for uh, joining us here on Thursday morning. Like I said during the report, both of these fishing reports are based on personal shows that I just filmed in the last week. They'll be out on our fishing uh, show here in the next month or five weeks, sometime in that three to five week time frame. So watch for them. Hopefully they're educational. They'll help you add options to your arsenal of where to go to have a great time here in Michigan.